All right, gonna do one today on this Lafayette 2 2 mobile amplifier. It's called a um, HA250A. And it's basically like a 30, 30 watt amplifier. It doesn't do a lot. I guess um, in the old days, this was produced at least according to the manual I have. I got original manual on this uh, HA250A and uh, uh, HA250 uh, looks the same and I was wondering what the difference is um, the 250A here uses two um, 6JS6Cs I think which are equivalent to um, 6LQ6 tubes I'm going to pull this off with this DC power supply the high voltage isn't on until um, you actually key it down and it's that's the small transformer there um, with these DC switching um, power supplies old-fashioned switching not the new modern switching um, high voltage doesn't engage until you actually key it down and the it's got relays to cut off the power and also it's got uh, some heavy-duty bleeders in there so the high voltage on this disappears very quickly um, and also uh, one of the things I found out playing with it and that's why I didn't even know I had the manuals but um, I'm glad I found them is that you know this with the two uh, 6LQ6 equivalent tubes I was suspecting more than you know 35 watts out of so I was like what's wrong with this thing and I started checking and digging and and uh, the only thing I found was it had 300 or so volts on the power supply for the high voltage for the plate and I'm like well that can't be right can it and come to find out yeah yeah it is um, this is designed as a 50 watt input power and if you know anything about input power you only get out about half or at best like 60 65 percent of what you put in and this one you know with the efficiency it's getting about half a little bit over that so it's doing what it's supposed to do you know 50 watts in with that very low high voltage um, you're getting about 30 35 watts out um, and they even call it here a hundred watt PEP that's input watt power 100 watts pep input and again getting about half out so it's about 50 watts PEP out so it's you know in the specs and all and one of the reasons I dug this one out and went through it because this one the HA250 it has the small body tubes um, 6 JB6 or I think it ran on 12 JB6's in that one um, you know just running the filaments right off the uh, DC so anyway I saw that one first and it runs on 600 volts but it has the same rating as this um, one here the A using the 6 LQ6's and what I kind of find out you know the uh, HA250 without the A uses the small baldies and it runs 600 volts on the plate and it's rated for 100 watts and then this one uses the bigger tubes but they cut the voltage in half so it's still rated at 100 watt you know PEP I don't know why they did that or you know did they try to sell these as business bands you know to get past the FCC I have no clue that's only speculation and guessing but anyway this is the HA250A with the 6LQ6 made by Lafayette and the manual somewhere in there says you know 1972 um, and it's got uh, two 6JS6C which are equivalent to the 6LQ6 tubes using a Phantom 500 and again you know two of these tubes only um, 30 or so 35 watts out but again it's running on um, very low voltage to run these tubes and if you look at the tubes the tu tubes might be a little dusty from this 72 year old amp but no not 72 year old 1972 uh, produced amp but they look real good because they're not getting hurt with that uh, 300 volts on them they're not getting hit hard at all so anyway um, you know, same old Mud Duck radio I already used. It did key about uh, four or five, and it swings to ten on average. And since this doesn't have a real standby, just the on and off, I'm not going to put it on standby to uh, 
turn this off and then turn it back on to show you what the radio is doing so hopefully it's all peaked up I'm gonna take it off peak and put it on average first 200 watt scale and dead key in right about 20 hello hello talking you know about 23 24 whistle not working again going about 32 watts on a whistle and again you know 50 watts in and 25 watts or so out it's doing what it's designed to do and uh, put it on peak right at 50 watts peak so hello 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 talking about 50 might do a little more if I stayed on it and let it heat up a little bit but uh, it's not gonna heat up much because again it's only um, 300 volts on the plate and um, not pushing them tubes very hard you know 4 watts in just a basic amp you know tune and load here uh, that there with all the numbers on it is circular is the transformer and it's got three re relays in it you know one sensing relay one to turn on the DC and one to uh, switch the antenna and um, I'm going to turn it off, see if I can turn it around right quick. And on the back, it's got a AM SSB switch. As with most CB amps, the AM SSB only puts a delay on the relay to keep the relay from unkeying and keying up and chattering during a SSB transmit. Um, also, it's got a um, octal type plug in the back because this A model here they made a um, uh, external AC power supply for it so if you had the AC power supply you could um, you know unplug this plug here this DC just um, just the leads coming out of it positive or negative and plug in your AC power supply and run this little uh, little amp off the base and that's it your antenna lead over here pretty clean for something this age 1972 is 2022 20, so what 50 years old so anyway that's going to be it for this guy this Lafayette HA250 and about 25 to 30 watts 50 watts peak that's it bye